Streamlabs, listen, I really don't give a shit about all these new features. I just want you to exist. How about that? <clears throat> I really need to fix my my TV colors. Can I do that quickly right now? Picture. Economy, no. Dynamic, that's not it. Standard, mild, blah, blah, blah. Personal. Yeah. I need to fix that at some point because Coco's hair is like red for me. Or like, I guess, dark orange. I can deal with it for now, it's not that big of a deal. Alright, so we are continuing exactly where we left off. Oh, shoot. Oh, no, I've got it right. I think, anyway. Hmm. I'm always so worried about the uh, the sync of the because when I'm shooting a console game, it's a lot harder to sync it. Because uh, when you're shooting a PC game, you don't have to try because it's already all synced. Lane, oh god! Well, I'm gonna suck ass. I shouldn't because I have practiced. Kinda. Well, I actually got another crate, nice. Maybe I shouldn't slide in here. Maybe I should actually. Oops. Did I actually miss the other thing, unfortunately? Oh well. Shouldn't matter. Man, this game is a lot of fun. Oh, that didn't hit me. I refuse 
Oh, well, I'm miles ahead anyway. It doesn't really matter. Oops. Whoa. Alright, so how far ahead was I? Hopefully pretty. For like 20 seconds? Yep, yeah, just about ish. How did the Steam Summer Cell just start it? That's cool. I'm gonna get an email from them saying like, hey, 20 of your games are, uh, are on sale on your wish list. Do you want to buy any of those? Hey, Kieran. Uh, one thing has changed since uh, last stream. I'm on a new save on this one. So I decided to go through with the game again on a, uh, on a classic mode, because I wanted to just do that instead. Because I'm picky. So now everyone doesn't look like a joke when uh, they're on the end screen. Congratulations, you win a trophy. Wow, thanks. Oh, can't get this one. To access this track, you must first collect. I know, I know, I know. Shh, shush. That's under me. Which one's this? This is Cortex Castle? Yeah. It's Cortex Castle. I remember that. <clears throat> yeah, I'm on a classic save now instead of a, uh, a, an improved save, save per se, or a remastered save. Everything is basically the same, except the characters don't dress in uh, custom skins, and I can't customize my character. Which I wasn't really intending on doing anyway, so I'm fine with that. Plus, it gave me a reason to get familiar with the maps again. Natural fuel does it put it, yeah. I just put on there the classic mode. This game is so much more skill oriented than the Mario Kart. It's unbelievable. I thought I was going to be pretty good at this because I'm pretty good at Mario Kart. And I've also played uh, CTR before plenty of times. Whoa. You're playing through his Tiny. I'm playing through his Coco because Coco is the best. I, I might. If I actually do start playing online, oops, I can, I remember, I, I keep forgetting I can't jump when I'm, uh, sliding. I might play as, uh, Ripper Roo. Don't know why I did that, but uh, I might play as Ripper Roo when I start playing online. Oh, I didn't even hit the, the thing. Damn it. You need a bigger jump than that.
Whoa! Okay. So right, we're, we're fine. The do being Nina and I'm playing as her. Oh, absolutely. I think I'm playing as Nina as well. Nina's like one of the best things that came out of recent crash. Ouch. Well, I don't think we're winning this race, but we can just retry. Yep. All right, let's restart and we'll try it again. I wonder who else is they're, they're gonna bring in. Lift, thank you. The trophy girls are playable, as well as Tana from Crash 1. Aren't they playable after a, a DLC patch that's coming fairly soon? I should have picked up one of those. It's really hard to concentrate on driving well and picking up power-ups at the same time. Holy shit, that's speed. You can go so goddamn fast in this game, holy shit. If you actually maintain your momentum correctly. Okay. Damn, I didn't pick one up. That's fine. Oof. Ugh. So that's fine. I'll take the hit. I'll just do a quick turn there because I can't turn I can't uh power slide around that corner correctly. Nice. You remember Croco and uh, CTR Nitro uh, Nitro Kart? It was slow but had better acceleration. Yeah, I think that's, I think it's also their stats here. I could be wrong though. I'm pretty sure they have really good acceleration. I don't really know the, the stats of heart because I'm not that hardcore of a player at this game, but I do know some things. AKA I've played it to uh, to completion before. The original. I'll probably play uh, Dead by Daylight after this, but uh, Dead by Daylight currently has a bug, a very, very big bug, game-breaking bug, which people are finding more and more out, more and more about. Congratulations, you win a trophy. I'm pretty sure it also exists on uh, on console. Balloon. 
I remember this one now well. This is where you face Pinstripe. Punch was like fast as hell, but it took ages to get that speed. Especially in the middle. And that bug would be... Uh, the bug in Dead by Daylight is that Wake Up, Quentin's perk that allows him to open gates faster, is bugged so that it gives you a 15% increase in action speed across everything. So you can complete gens 15% faster. You can do everything 15% faster. And using it right now is considered an exploit. <laughs> oh, I should have jammed. Jump, jump with it. Oh god! Damn, I just slipped off. That sounds horrible, and it explains a lot. Yeah, playing as killer right now is pretty frustrating. Because you end up just facing tons of people exploiting it. So you feel pretty powerless. Pass it on! I need to stop you looking to my, my bottom right. You get so fast. I was hoping that was going to shoot back. It's like you have to play Toxic to get around it all. Yeah. So if you're playing Killer and you see people currently using Wake Up, then they're just exploiting. Either they don't know and they're accidentally exploiting. Or they do know and they're purposefully exploiting. I mean, I'll still try and play Killer if I stream tonight, stream Dead by Daylight, but uh, it's just, it's going to be a bit frustrating. Anyway, we're playing Crash Team Racing, so that's, that's more important to talk about this game. This map looks basically exactly like I imagined it would, which is good. It means they nailed it. I always mess up that turn. Hmm. First thing you get redone then. First thing you get fixed. Blech. Too fast. Damn it! No, 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 no! Oh, I was gonna fall off the map there. Jesus, where the hell's Polar? Don't go for me! Yeah, I think we lost this. Anyway. Well, people are gonna get reported for exploiting then. Yeah. They also, uh, Behavior Interactive, have a way of telling. When people are, are, are exploiting. Because they can see what perks people are using, and if they can just, you know, control F, wake up, and ban everyone. Who's doing it purposely? I think I was like that in the original crash as well, where I would I wouldn't I wasn't able to make that turn. Oh come on. I mean, just a TLDR, don't use Wake Up for a while. Not sure how long, we'll see. 
I'm glad I activated that then because I was about to get bumped. I was about to get dumped on. What is it about this turn right here? I can't do. Yikes. Oh. I'm just falling off the map left and right, aren't I? I actually made that, that TNT auto explode. Kind of hilarious, actually. Oh, wow, you stole my box, asshole. Ow. Saw the thing you posted about the sh uh, about streamer being dead. Yeah, Etika. That's a, a big shame. I didn't watch your stuff, but... Oh, well, when anyone dies. Damn, I can't make that turn and boost at the same time. Oh, that was so close. Okay. Well, give me something good. That's not good. Yep. He apparently had a lot of mental problems. Yeah. He did. Yeah, it was taken away at some point or earlier in the year. Uh, I got I got distracted there. I was like, what the hell happened there? Oh, I forgot you can do that. Shit. Rear viewed. Looks like Tiny is my opponent for this uh, for this one. For this little race. Oh, I can use this on the on the turn. Like that, that I hate. <laughs> no, don't fucking do this. God. 
hard to wow. How do you make that turn? I'm pretty sure I'm doing that bit pretty perfectly. That's a tough map. With some tough turns. Remember Copus Portrait? And the older version of the game looked really squished and weird. Yeah. I, weren't a lot of the portraits in the uh, the early version of this really weird? Just due to, you know, being a pre pre launch version. Mmm. I think that was horrible. I think I remember that one. It was pretty horrible. Honestly, I completely forgot that Dengu Dao was a part of the base roster in this game. You win a trophy. Like, I completely forgot. <laughs> Oxide Station, ooh. I'm getting a bit worried because uh, my, what's it called? My Valve uh, Index, all right, I'll read this this first. Wanna know what I question? With a head that big, how does she fit in the frame with all that, with that tiny phone she has? Hey, most phones come with like a fisheye effect. So, surely she uses that. Also, she probably just made her phone. I don't know how to do the uh, that properly. The start. I'm getting a bit worried because my Valve Index shipment hasn't shipped yet, and it's supposed to be here by the 28th, and it hasn't shipped yet. And I'm like, Ugh. although supposedly uh, UK is uh, 48 hours shipping. So I don't really need to worry because they could ship it tomorrow and I'd still get it. Which I can accept if it's like first first class. Oh, wasn't expected to start to end right there. Thought that drop was uh, was longer. Twisty turning map. Oop, I backfired. That's what I say, give me something good. Whoa. 
Let's hope. Yep. I mean, if that's what the people on the Index subreddit are saying, then I trust them. <sighs> Yikes. Yeah, I trust them if they say that, so... And if not, then I can just scold them. You know, I can just complain on the... Isn't that what everyone else does? When something doesn't go your way, you go to their Reddit and you start complaining and bitching? I can just do that. God damn, these twisty turns. I, I have the uncanny ability to just go in between every single... Every single pair of boxes. It depends. Let me uh, do this here. There we go. Just so we can get in a straight line. This is a good fun map. I should be doing fast boosts here. Oof! And not hit myself with my own thing. You don't mind if it's one day off. I, I kinda do. Cause you know, I spent 700 pounds on this thing. I better get it on the day of release. But yeah. No, I can understand it. I, I'm, I'm pretty lenient with, with shipping. I don't mind if it's, if it's late. People are people. Shit happens. Who knows, maybe my index will go on an amazing adventure. Where there's like several people trying to figure out where it's going. Yeah! Or I'll just arrive here the day after and I'll be completely fine. Hey, old pinstripe. Why, you call that racing? Forget about it. If you's gonna race Oxide, you's gonna have to get past me first. <laughs> I'm the speed champion here, and I'm gonna save the world. A sizable fee, of course. <laughs> Only for it to end up in China. I would not be surprised. Forget about it. Hey, I'm walking here. My tummy gun looks like a piece of cheesecake. It's all I can afford. Damn, his icon. <laughs> looks a little weird. Looks a little bit. Uh, <sighs> This is gonna suck. I forgot what he did. Ah, he did that. Yeah, this is gonna suck. No, I'll just have that. I wanna be ahead of you and for you to never be ahead of me. Holy shit, that speed. No! 
Forget about it! Here, eat this. Damn it, he didn't eat it. Damn it! That's bad. Oh my god, I was really scared I was going to get off the map there. Shame this isn't going to really work on him, because... It did work on him. It didn't, actually, because he just did the bomb thing. Which is what I thought was going to happen. I can beat him there, because he doesn't go through that jump. Did he just say, oh shit? What the fuck? Did you not hear that? He was like, oh shit. I swear he said that. Try and get through that, asshole. This game's A+. Plus. And then, after he swears, he's like, FORGET ABOUT IT! I can just pay off every idol who complains. Damn, I fucking hate that turn so much. Wow, that TNT crate isn't going to do a single thing, is it? Easy Melini. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Why don't you get a job? Blue Stripper was somewhat nice. Bishop's an asshole. I mean, all the bosses are assholes, kind of. Maybe except for Papu Papu. She'll be this lucky with oxide. Easy <laughs> key for your troubles. <laughs> ah, brother. Nah, brother. I assassinated my father. Jesus fucking Christ, every game on my wish list is on sale. Ooh, Killer Instinct is seven pounds. Ooh. Ooh. Well, the little terror vermin has finally collected all the trophies to become world champion. What took you so long? Now we prove who the fastest driver really is. We're gonna take on Papu Papu, by the way. He's at world two. So we've already beaten him quite considerably. Wait a second, hang on. A new trailer for a One Punch Man game. Ooh. Great. Oh, this actually doesn't look that good. <laughs> oh. Uh, Spike Chunsoft, the people who made My Hero Once Justice, they're making a One Punch Man fighting game. Which looks the exact same as My Hero Once Justice.
Three v three battles. Yeah, this is it's for the uh, it's for actual consoles. I will be honest, it doesn't look that good, but uh, who knows? I'm still into One Punch Man, so I'll still play it. But uh, I'm not that into One Punch Man. I don't think One Punch like controversial opinion. Here's my my hot take. I don't think One Punch Man's that good. I think it's like a six out of ten. The first four episodes are really great, and then after that, it just becomes super tedious and predictable. Oh, I forgot he cheats. Oh my god. How are they gonna make Saitama work? Everyone's wondering that as well. Everyone's like, you better make him, like, one punch everyone, or, you know, we don't care. I mean, it'd be cool if they did that, but I think it wouldn't work in the long run. I mean, everyone would appreciate it, honestly. I think everyone, uh, excuse me. I think everyone would be like, hey, that's, that's cool. You actually made it accurate. But after that, everyone would be like, this is annoying and it doesn't work. Dude, this dickhead. God damn! I understand he's supposed to be a dickhead though. This dude's supposed to be pretty unfair. Stop! Start doing something else. These are super annoying. I'm gonna throw that so I can get one here. Yeah, I'm kind of excited to see uh Series 2's been great so far. I heard it was pretty mixed. I heard some people were like, this looks really, really bad, and I also haven't watched it, so I don't know. I'll watch it at some point, probably. One much fun is taking the mick out of other anime cliches, so it's very easily predictable. Yeah, but you can do that and still be pretty incredible. Like, look at Kill a Kill. Kill a Kill takes the mick out of other anime tropes all the time, but it also gives you, like, an incredible, incredible anime. One Punch Man just kind of became pretty mediocre after a certain point. Where it's like, yeah, I get it, you're, you're taking the mick out of shit. But you're just doing the same joke over and over again. You're not doing any new jokes. It's like, hey, One Punch Man. A bunch of people, like, here's the formula for every single arc in One Punch Man. And at least in the first series. Since, like I said, I haven't watched the second series yet. But here's the, uh, here's the, the basic rundown of every single arc in that. So, new villain comes in, Saitama is occupied for some reason, can't actually attack them, or he's bored, he doesn't want to do it. Okay, so fair enough. Big villain comes in, starts killing everyone. We get like a whole episode and a half full of other heroes trying to stop him. And they don't manage to stop him. Uh, in the last five minutes, Saitama comes in for some weird reason and kills them. In one hit. And that's the joke. That's the joke for the entirety of season one. And they do that literally like three, four times in season one. And it gets super tedious because you know exactly what's going to happen. And it doesn't matter. Like, it's not funny after a certain point. That's why I say episode one to four is really great. Because uh, even though they do do that joke in episode 1 to 4 a lot, uh, the final time he does it in episode 4 against uh, 
What's his face? I forgot what his name was, something Kabuto. Basically the big annoying guy. Yeah, Big big Bad gets owned in five episodes after a very bad build up. Yeah. Ah, I can't believe you beat me. I well, I was talking as well. Your miserable planet stays gushy and green. At least you still haven't gathered all my time relics. Until you've collected all of those and race me again, you'll never be able to claim you are the fastest. This won't be the last time you'll face nitrous oxide. We will meet again. Yeah, I did, and I beat you while I was uh talking. Oh, I did another dig at DBZ again with a different forms thing, yeah. I forgot what the character's name was. Uh, Carnage Kabuto? Something like that. Yeah, that's, that's that's like the... I would say that's the last time that the joke hits. Where the joke lands. And then every other time after that where they're like, Hey, big strong person. He might... Well, one punch one might not be able to beat him. Oh no. And then they... Spend like two episodes being like, oh, you can't be beaten. And then One Punch Man comes in and one shots him, and it's like, wow, I'm laughing so hard. You've already done this joke four times. So that's why I think One Punch Man is like six out of ten. I say six out of ten because I'm honestly being pretty generous. Generous. Start our own video game streaming service. She started Stadia. Google Stadia. There aren't really any villains in season two, really. That's good. It means they don't focus on that. It means they actually have like a like they should. The joke really lands when they actually make it like integrated into the plot properly. <clears throat> I still need to watch uh, Agretsuko season two. Ice cream company. Um, another hot tech. I don't really like the animals in Crash in the Crash Remastered series, like in the original ones, like Pura, like as well. I don't really like how they look. I think they look really dumb and weird. I think everyone else looks pretty good. Dude, Pinstripe's back. Pinstripe's future story is just the same arc that uh, Mike Milligan from Fargo season two goes through. He has to sort of take on other heroes who don't believe him. Ah, I just wish they would put him more in situations that were funnier. I guess. But I'll, oh well, I'll, I'll watch season two at some point and uh, I'll I'll give my thoughts on it in due time. And Trophy wasn't even here. And Trophy, I haven't even seen him yet. Curious visions. I'm trial boss. Yeah. That's true, actually. So we would have seen him if we played the time trials. Which we're gonna do. I wish more, um... It's probably a lot more work than it needs to be, but I wish more... 
uh, pieces of media would make their credits really interesting. Like, uh, I don't know if you've seen the Lego movie too. Me and Alex watched it when he was around. But, uh, and I also saw it in cinemas when it came out. But the Lego Movie 2's credits are fucking phenomenal. Like, they're really good. They're, they're so self-knowledgeable. Like, they know nobody watches them, and they made tons of jokes about it. It's And they actually made a very entertaining and very visually impressive uh, set of credits. Which, I think more, I wish more companies would do. Instead of just doing this, like, black screen with maybe some effects in the background, make it interesting. Make, get us engaged, and... Make us want to read it. Kind of like that, kind of like Lego Movie 2 would do. Most creative credits I've seen are Madagascar's. I don't think I've seen those. I think I usually skip them. Which doesn't bode well if I usually skip the Madagascar credits. What's that? What's, what's with the box? Is that a missing character? I usually like to sit through the credits just for their, just for like the respect of it. I usually sit through them, especially in games I really like. I usually sit through the entire credits because, you know, they these people deserve to have their names shown. They worked really hard on this, and they deserve it. <clears throat> Plus, if I don't have a, if the credits aren't that entertaining, usually I just search for really funny names. Engelbrecht. That's probably not how you say that. Galager. Regu. Benjamin Harder. Put a comma in between that. Benjamin Harder. My neck. Jayapal. Vincent Koo. Yeah, I usually just do that and look for, for kind of funny names. I swear if it has on you at the end. <laughs> Whatever on you is at the end, you're just like, oh, thank you. I mean, I don't know why I'm watching them here, because we're going to have to watch them again. But, well, we don't have to. But, we'll be seeing them the sec second time we beat uh, Oxide. Tobjorn! Wow, Little Sullivan's. By a lot, I mean two. Pedro, my friend Pedro. That's a good game. My friend Pedro, you should go buy that and play that. It's a really good game. I beat it off stream. Because I just wanted to play by myself. Molten Core! Damn, my my gums really hurt, or like my the inside of my cheek, because my my um, wisdom teeth have finally started coming through properly, and they're they're so far back that they're biting on the inside of my cheek whenever I bite down, and I've bit down so many times and just that feeling when you bite down on your lip, but I get that every twenty seconds. It's so frustrating. Like, if I, if I hold my breath and, like, bubble up my cheeks, it really, really hurts. Because of how inflamed it is, because of how much I've bitten it. Ah. Ow. <sighs> Thing on my desk. I mean, this is how you clean up your desk. Always remember. <gasps> Whatever, my Hoover can deal with it later. David Kwong. 
You're not gonna be able to talk when you get those removed. That's unfortunate. Well, I mean, I guess most of my streams can just give be a I that I can do silent movie streams. <clears throat> Stefan. I mean, I, uh, am I gonna get my wisdom tooth removed? I think I probably am. Slurred speech, yeah. My speech is already pretty slurry sometimes, so not much is gonna change. Shimmel well on the laughing gas, I dare you. I don't think I can, but uh, that would be pretty funny. See, it's weird because my uh, my wisdom teeth on the right side of my my uh, my my teeth, the right side of my face. There we go. They've come in just fine. They're already in, and they're just they're they're settled, and they've replaced my molars pretty much. They're perfectly fine. Nothing. There's nothing wrong with them. But the ones on my left, they're they're, they're having a really hard time getting through. And when they are getting through, they're they're obstructing my my uh, my cheek and biting it all the time. So and I and I feel like if they're going to get rid of one pair, they're going to get rid of all of them. And I don't know if I want them to do that because the ones on the right are are pretty good. You're lucky you're only born with one. These cards are long. One on your left and that's it, there's none on the right. I've got four full wisdom teeth, two of them are already in, two of them are not in, they're half in, and they're annoying the fuck out of me. Consumer products. Also might have helped if they did like two pages at a time, like two, two sets of names, and they would have half have this uh, credits. Finance. There's the finance group. Mobile sales. I suppose this gives me time to look at my Steam wish list. Wish list. Have a look and see what I want to buy, if anything. I should have a look at some VR games considering I'm getting my index soon. Ooh, Steam support, we're preparing your items to ship. Your Valve index order is on its way. Would you speak of the devil? Sick. Well, that, that's a load off my chest. Now I don't have to just keep refreshing every two seconds. Shipment status, shipped, tracking number. Where are you coming from? Show me. Frosted detail in the Netherlands. Hey, that's cool. Mm -hmm. 
Oh man, these credits are long. That's, that's got two places to go though. What, from the Netherlands? I can imagine so. But uh, who knows, maybe if I'm lucky I'll get it on the 27th. If I'm, if I'm lucky, lucky. 28th if I'm not so lucky and I'm just kind of vaguely lucky, but... And then the 29th if I'm not lucky. I would have paid like an extra 30 pounds for like super duper shipping because honestly at that point if I'm paying 700 pounds for something I may as well just go the whole route and be like that's always my philosophy when buying anything super expensive you go the full way like if you're gonna buy something super expensive you just buy you don't skimp what I mean to say you don't skimp out like if you're gonna buy let's say well, actually, I've got a good example. If you're going to buy a very expensive professional drawing tablet, don't skim. Don't don't say, hey, I'm going to get the cheap £300 version. Nah, 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 nah. You, you look up reviews, you have a look around, you, and um, if one of them costs £600, it's like, don't show that on luxurious. Yeah. Basically, everything that's cheap, I, I never go for anything that's cheap. If I, I'm never going to buy something super, uh, some sort of equipment that's super cheap because chances are you're not going to get a good, you're not going to, it's not going to be good for you in the long run. So for, here's a good story example, actually. I was going to buy, and I did buy, a, uh, a professional drawing tablet. One of those ones that you actually have to, just so everyone knows, it's one of those ones that you actually draw on the screen. So Basically, I don't have to look at my, 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 uh, I can see where I'm drawing, basically. But, I bought one of those. Well, I was going to buy one of those, and, uh, the one I had in mind, it was about £440 or something, ish. Around there. So I sold that, and I was like, okay, this looks like a pretty good, like, less memory consoles. But, um, anyway, I was gonna buy one of them, and it costed for about £440. Fair enough, that's a, that's a pretty expensive price for one. But then I saw that there was a better version, there was a newer version that came out for £620. That's an extra, that's, that's basically an extra £200. And while I'd saved, I'd, I had saved up for the 440 version, so I, I only had that much. And I was like, you know what, if I'm gonna buy this now, I'm just gonna go for the more expensive version because it's better. It's gonna be better for me in the long run. So I dipped into my savings, or like my, my, my further savings, you know, the stuff I'm not supposed to touch, to be like, alright, I'm gonna buy this now and I'll make up for the money later. So I bought the more expensive version just on a, on a whim, being like, alright, because I, I was about to order the, 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 uh, the 440 version. I was about to order it, I had it in my, I had it in my basket and everything. I saw that had a better version, and I was like, uh, okay, I'll put that in instead, and I'll buy that instead. And I did. Just because uh, I don't like to skimp. If I'm going to skimp, it's going to be very knowledgeable skimp. Like, I'm going to, I'm going to, like, research a lot of it. And if I know for sure that that's a quality product at that price, and the more expensive version is just expensive for the sake of being expensive, then yeah, I'm going to buy the cheaper version. But if I don't know that, and there's a more expensive version, you know, I'm probably going to buy the more expensive version, because I just, I want the version that's going to last, that's going to be good, that's going to not time out. Uh, these credits are still going, by the way. These, these credits are still going. These are kind of very, very long.
It's like what you do with Warhammer. Yeah, I can see that for, for Warhammer stuff. I guess a good example for that would be not buying cheap paint. Buy expensive paint because the expensive paint's going to be better. Higher quality, it's going to look better. Basically, I always think that if something is cheap or cheaper than it looks, then that should send off red flags in your red flags in your head. I think that's what I always think. So always see if there's a more expensive version, and if the more expensive version is just better. And that's what I always do. It's 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 not a it's not a life that a lot of people can live though. Expensive paint fills in some of the full cathedral kit sets. Yeah, looks like the credits are just ending about now. Yeah, basically expensive tools are usually better than the cheap tools. Because the cheap tools are made to be cheap and they're made to not last. Another thing I do uh, with my money is when it comes to cables, for example. If I'm, if I'm buying a cable, I don't just buy a cable. I buy two of that cable. Oh, look, there it is. Mwah. Thank you very much. Scrapbook, access in the extras menu. What is this? Is this? Oh, it's concept art. I actually want to look at this. Believe it or not, I actually want to look at the concept art because I'm an artist. So I like to see it. Huh. I like the way they draw these. Man, how do you do this stuff? Jesus. That's super detailed. Oh my god, the, the, the racing track tracks on the ground. Oh, that's so cool. It's got the imprints of the tires as well. Like the, all the, the rims. This looks, this genuinely looks 3D. I thought this was a 3D image for a second. That's not, that's crazy. Like that, the lighting on the ground is fucking impeccable. And the, like the lighting on the pipes as well, it all looks 3D. Like the whole right side doesn't look 3D, but everything close to the screen, that's insane. Wow. The rust in between all the cracks. Oh, we haven't played that, rap, that map yet. I like the look of the hologram. Looks really nice. Ooh. Ooh. Looks like Cocoa Park. I'll kind of speed through it since there's 60 images. If there's anything super interesting, I'll pause. Wow, the lighting here. Lighting here looks really great. Ooh, perspective drawing, nice. I love all the texturing they do here. The texturing looks really nice. Like on the, let's just look at the ground here. That's so insanely textured. Like here as well, you can see all the rocks on the ground. Man, this takes so much work. Insane. You can, see, you can see the reflection of the of the the mountains and the ice. Jeez. Look at the rain. Look at the droplets on the ground. Oof. The lighting. Jesus, look at the scratches on the metal on the left. Man.
What is this? Are these, uh, are the other crash? Yeah, this, these must be the other crash cans. Their tracks. Ooh. Again, just the, the texturing on these, on these drawings is absolutely fucking insane. Like, especially in stuff like this image here. Oh, it's beautiful. Every single inch of it has so much detail. And it's just a sim- it's just- it's just kind of almost a simple shape. Oof. Really good stuff. Really worth looking at and studying. Canola oil looking ass. <laughs> right, what do we get to do now? We have to do... Ooh, really? Wait, we unlock Oxide now? I was fully expecting we were going to have to 100% again. I guess not. Maybe we'll unlock his cart. Uh, we can't customize because I'm in the classic mode. But maybe we unlock his cart. At 100%. I think we unlock his card at 100% if, I'm at, if I have to guess. Uh, let's go back to uh, the first world and start doing stuff there. I've got like a lot of time to do stuff, so I'm, I'm fine with just pooping about a bit. Pooping about. Going the wrong way. Where's the way back to? I went the wrong way. I wish we could kind of fast, fast travel. This is the way. Not in there. Woof. Alright, now we can start doing these. Uh, do we do the relics of the CTR challenges? I think we do these first, because they're obviously like the next in line. So, uh. Collect the letters C, T, and R on each track and come in first place to win a CTR token. Beware, some letters are hard to find. Got it. Yeah, some of them are pretty, pretty difficult. I actually like these in the game. These are, these are really ingeniously made because they encourage you to look for the, for the, uh, the, the shortcuts. And uh, they tell you where the shortcuts are and everything as well. Usually your best bet is to get them on the first first lap and then start working towards getting to the first place. There's one. One of them is on the boat, I remember. Where is R? 
don't know if I remember where Aura is. I just I literally jumped over that, by the way. Oh, it's right here, isn't it? Yeah. Could have avoided that with if I shot my thing backwards. Alright, now we need to focus on getting to first place. Oh, I backfired. I'm gonna do that so I have a uh, a protection. There we go. Forgetting, I actually completely forgot that uh, I, I had already done a lap collecting the things. I actually thought there was one more lap after that. It was pretty fun. The rest of them are probably not going to be anywhere near as fun because I don't know how to get to the. Uh, the sewer one, the sewer. Because I'm pretty sure you have to do, uh, you have to get up into the shortcut, which I don't know how to do. Bruise tubes, this one. Yeah, I don't know how to get to the, uh, to the shortcut on this one. I also don't remember where they are. We'll work it out. We'll get there in the end. Ooh, a petition to, to restore Elika's YouTube channel. Yeah, I'll sign that. Sure. <clears throat> Does this tell me where they are? I know that one's on the uh, the shortcut to my left-ish. Yeah, I can see it. Oh, C's there. Okay. I'll have to go on my way to get that one. Oh, this is gonna be easy. Easy peasy. And we're done. Again, I have the uncanny ability to just completely ignore all the crates. Again, look, just <laughs> every single time. Very nice. 
So it wasn't this one I was scared of. I'm scared of the the sewer one, the 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 last level in this. I'm pretty sure. Missile denied. I'm thinking how I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna do every. Uh, I'll do all the CTR tokens in the world, and I'll do all the uh, the relics in the world. Oh, I just burped and I got a even pile of kippers back up my mouth. Oh, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't barf, but I got the smell. Plus, I can do the uh, what's it called? the crystal challenges as well during our, our world. So we can probably end up doing... Uh, <clears throat> I think I'll simply structured is I'll complete everything in this world. I'll go to the next world, complete everything there. Oh, for this, for this stream, we're going to complete everything in this world. Next stream, we're going to complete everything in the next world and then the next world. And then probably we'll be done then. And then we'll comp in, the, in the stream after that, we're going to complete everything in that world. And then we're going to do the... Uh, the Grand Prix and stuff like that. Well, Where's the other ladders? Where are they? That's one. I didn't see the other one, which is a bit of a problem. I haven't seen C. Uh, maybe I'll go the other route down here. I still don't see it. Damn. I'm, I'm really fast, but I, I, don't, I don't see it. I have to look really hard. Let's, we're, we've got such a fast lead, we can afford not to boost. So just having a look around. Is it right in the corner here? No. Somewhere here. Is it behind me here? No. Those were all my ideas for where it could have been. Am I just not able to see it due to the due to this here? The uh the how red it is? There's R. We know where we know where R and T is. We don't know where C is. Damn it, I just barely lost that. Oh, I missed it?
I really don't know where it is. Someone help? Help poor old me? Damn! You're supposed to get you're supposed to cast that on the low. I swear it's here. I swear it's somewhere here. We don't give enough time to look. I seriously don't know where it is. And I missed that as well. Damn it. Right, hang on. CTR tokens. What map is this? Can we tell? Mystery Caves. Everyone's already searched for it. <laughs> okay, so apparently it's pretty hard to tell. Right, where is C? Ah, yes, I have just been missing it. I knew where exactly where it was. I just kept missing it because uh, it's really hard to see on the red bit. Through the lava. It's really hard to see with the lava in the background. So it's over right here. Got it. Damn it. I wanted to get through before it. And that's how it's done. Boom!
Hmm. Nice. I'm gonna have to go for a piss in the middle of this stream. <clears throat> yep. I'm gonna have to go for a piss. All right. I'll be right back then. Uh, let me. Let me. Can I uh, unlock this? Yeah, unlock. Um, put it down there. All right, I'll be right back. <sighs> I have returned. I also noticed that I moved my uh, thing by accident, but I think that's fine. Blue hyena crash. Hmm. Give me one single second to have a look at where my you are where my UI was before. It was here ish. Yeah. Basically, uh, I have my my uh, my thing like that because uh, the Nintendo Switch. For some reason, on the Nintendo Switch, there's a weird border, so I like to just cut that border out. I think the longest way possible to get to this place. Right. This is the one where I remember that I can do the shortcut on this, at least not easily. So we shall see if I can end up doing it, because I know I'm going to have to do it. I'm pretty sure you slide into it and you jump up. Mm. 
Mm. Ah, drink. See, it's right there. This will also show me where some of them are. I guess not. I only saw one of them. I'm pretty sure. Ooh, okay, there's T. Right, here's here's uh, this place right here. Damn it. You need you do need to boost up there. Oh, it's not. Huh. So it's not on the, uh, okay. Then it's not on the shortcut and we have no problems to worry about. Because again, I still don't know how to do that shortcut. Oop. Something like that. You do something like that above there. Yeah, that's what you usually do for that to go up there. I can't believe I made that. Shit, that is all that's my own thing. Damn, that thing is so annoying. Easy peasy. Time is the charm. Zombie engine. That's uh, that's all of them, right?
Yeah. So now we have to do the the relics. Preferably without bashing into shit. Get the lowest time you can by racing fast and breaking time crates. Each time crate you break will freeze the clock. It All right, we got it. I read it faster than you could say it. I forgot about the time crates thing. I hope this isn't especially tough. It's like I can be speedy, but I hope we don't have to be super duper 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 optimal. I actually missed that crate. Was that even worth that? Shit. Shit. I'm pretty sure we still got this. Yeah. Didn't seem that tight. I missed a ton of boxes. Especially ones that I actually kind of half worked for. Like the, uh, the, the, the three box on the, uh, shortcut. So if, if the rest of the levels are like that, I'll be pretty happy. Although isn't there like a platinum, yeah, ish. There's other, there's other medals and we just need to get a medal for the game to be like, sure. Guess I'm pretty sure anyway. Yeah, I'm pretty confident there was there was higher tier medals. So I do remember people talking about those. People bragging that they were they got like the the platinum medals or whatever. Hey, just getting a time relic is is fine. Then I'm I'm gonna go for that. There's seriously none there? Wow. Well, 
fuck. Damn, I'm missing all of them. What is that? Up above. Nice, yeah, gold and so there's other medals. Well, whatever, we're not going for, I mean, like, we're going for 100%, but we're not going for, you know, crazy 100% where we're getting all the platinum medals. I have a feeling you do have to get gold though for it to count, at least. But I could be wrong. Doesn't look like it on the minimap. This will hopefully uh, improve my ability to actually hit boxes while at, while still uh, turboing. Because th I find that really hard to hit boxes at the same time as turboing. Most of that is because I'm actually looking at the bottom right for uh, to see when I can get my boost maxed. I shouldn't be doing that though. Damn it, I missed. And I jumped over that one. And I didn't get that one. I'm just ignoring them all. I'm half concentrating, which is why I'm not talking. So. Fuck. Could have gotten that. At least I did end up getting that. And that 
We only got Sapphire, damn. I would have wanted better than that. Shoot your power shield forward by pressing circle. And do home che home cheese, slice cheese, home slice. That's it. Damn it. Damn, there's a lot of boxes up there in the shortcut. Damn it, really? And then I get squashed. Something tells me you aren't getting a good time here. Fuck. Well, we're only getting a sapphire there. Understandably, I only got half the boxes, jeez. See through about every time one misses a box, I moan louder. You'll be moaning quite a lot. Hey, if only I need to get sapphires, good on me.
Oof. So we only need to get sapphires. That's good. As you can, this is the uh, this is the save file we were on on the last stream, but uh, I just made a new one and decided that I was gonna play in the classic. Where do we get the fifth CTR token? Oh right, the uh, the room thing. No, 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 no. Damn it, I keep accidentally going into Rue's place. I did that before the stream started as well. So I'm a goddamn idiot. Oh, well, we're going to move over to the next world, and I will be ending the stream then. This was a little bit of an addendum of something I said earlier, like uh, when the credits were rolling for the game. I said that when it comes to, like, cables, I'll always buy two cables of the ones I want because I know for a fact that if I'm gonna need one of them I'm gonna need two of them at some point plus you you'll always lose cables always you're always gonna lose them so even if the cable is some sort of ultra specific super dumb like headphone jack to audio in audio out no headphone jack to red and to red and uh, what's it called red and white cables something like that even something super specific I usually buy two anyway plus they don't actually cost that much money so Oi, open this. Cool. What is that? Four seats, four reds. Ah. If you collect four CTR tokens of this color, you can enter the gem cup. Score the most points in the four races of the cup to win a gem. Yeah, we'll be doing these uh, at some point. Ricky! Still got a lot to do. We're only halfway done. Which, by my intuitive math, should mean two streams. For the story mode, anyway. I might do multiplayer. Who knows? We'll see. Right, so we saved here. And we are done for now. All right. Well, thank you for watching. I will see you later tonight, probably for another stream of Dead by Daylight. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow for another stream of whatever. Maybe this again, probably. All right. See you later.